parts to stand on. Okay. So, uh, with this, with this setup right here and great control, everything is based off the tips of your bucket teeth. Okay. So that'd be if I'm on a bench, that would be my bench right there. Doesn't matter what position the bucket's in. It's also if I'm cleaning up a trench, something like that, and I'm coming in like this. It's all still off your bucket tips. Okay. Okay. So, so you've got these four right here. I'm going to start off with just the main menu first, and we'll walk you through that. So I'm going to tap on that. That brings up my main menu. I can go into settings, hit OK, go down here to machine settings. We've got all this other stuff too, but machine settings is going to be the one you're going to use. Engine shutdown setting. Uh, that's set at five minutes. Maybe in the winter you might want to raise that up, so you just X that out. I can put it back to five if you want. Is that good? No, I just leave it off. Okay. So does that mean that it will automatically shut off at yeah, five minutes? Yeah, if you're out of the machine. Okay. I usually set them for ten, so I don't have to get back <laughs> in here and reset. Does that run your battery dead? No. <clears throat> it won't run your battery dead. It'll just shut it off. Just shut it off. Okay, leave it at ten then. Yeah, that's yep. a good idea. Okay. You hit OK on that, and <clears throat> auto. Let's turn it on. Is so it, it was disabled? Down. Okay. 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 I'm gonna go back out of that one. That was engine power mode. As long as you see power up on top, okay, we're good. Okay. You have a smart mode on this. And what smart mode does is if you, if you get real easy digging. You can uh, you can turn smart mode on and it'll be like economy mode. Okay. Point. But then if it detects you need all the all the power, as long as you've got power up here, you're good. So I'm gonna turn economy right off. Okay. Because these two work good with those. Okay. Great settings on this. You, I kind of leave these alone once I've got it set up. But your tolerance on this is 082. If you guys play with this to get it finer or coarser, take a picture of that with your phone so you remember where to put it back because that works good right at 08 too. Does it? Yeah. So that's that within tense? a tenth. Yeah. Yeah, that's within a tenth. So and then your sound setup on this, that's on medium. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop that to low because you can still hear it very good. The beep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you can leave these on above and below. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn above off and I'm gonna turn below off, okay. And you don't have a laser catcher on this, so I'm gonna turn that one off. So the only time you're gonna hear that beep now is when you're right on grade, finishing up a okay. trench, whatever. That's a good idea. Okay. So get back out of that, and then grade unit select. It's this is in degrees. We want I'm gonna put that in in. Uh, in percentage. Okay. Okay. You can if you have a job that you're pulling a hill, something and the plans are in degrees. Mm -hmm. You can you can hit degrees or rise and run, but ninety nine percent of the time you're gonna be in percentage. So like so to so doing sewer pipe on a two percent slope. Yeah. So, so you'll show us how to do that yeah. running a sewer line. Yeah. Okay, yeah. or a or a okay. percent and a half or one yeah. percent. Yeah. Okay. So we just <clears throat> so that's in percentage. I'm glad I got into this. Okay. So that was everything in grade settings. The rest of this stuff, I just leave it alone because you can play with it, but I just leave it there. So I'm gonna go home here. How okay? would you measure your bucket? I guess you'll show us that. Okay, huh? yeah. So if you're gonna calibrate a different bucket, just go on down Do you there. have to, every time you get a new attachment, would you have to calibrate it? As long as you don't weld, a, if you weld a board on that bucket, yeah. I just go with the spade teeth because they're the same. Yeah. But if, if I get guys that'll weld a board on there and they'll extend it out past those teeth that uh -huh. far, it's gonna throw it that far off. Okay. Okay. So go into bucket work tool settings. This is to okay. calibrate a board? Yeah. Okay. Okay, see that you got your 36 inch bucket on it. If I scroll down, maybe I put a 110 hammer on it. Because you've got auxiliary hydraulics already. So yeah. uh, you just go to whatever work tool. And tap on it. So, do you implement a work tool if you got a different size bucket? Yeah. If well, if you see, this has got compaction plates. It's oh, got yeah, yeah. everything on it. You just go down and find what. There's even a shear. 
keep going down here you're gonna find some more empty buckets on here so like if you change buckets if as long as it's a stock bucket like this it's gonna everything's gonna work other than a bigger bucket's gonna weigh more so that's gonna throw your scales off that far mm. but if I want to come in here let's say I want to maybe I want to come in here and put a new bucket in it so on this bucket right here this is a 36 inch mm -hmm. But this one over here is a 42 inch. Yeah. Would that one need to Did be weighed? Did they calibrate that one too? I, I don't know. Okay, I didn't see it, but we'll look for it. So if, if you calibrate it, it's, this is how easy it is. You, you put whatever it is, 40 inch bucket, okay? And then you'll, you're going to hit this bucket. Let's, what is it? A 40, 42. 42 inch, okay? Uh, Okay, we got that. Hit OK on that. Okay, now we're going to keep going through this. Now we're going to go on to your next one. Uh, that, well, that was your tool name. So would you have to create a new pattern if I were welded a, mold, uh, a board on there, a blade on the, the teeth? Yeah, but if you weld it even with the end of the teeth, then you won't. So what about teeth wear? Does it, it accommodate it, for teeth wear? It'll accommodate wear? for teeth wear once they get about if you get three inches wore off them, you're going to be three inches. You can just figure that when you go into oh, work so you okay. can finish wearing them okay. out. Okay. So you got that. Uh, get that in there. Once I start into it on a measurement, uh, you'll you'll go through. There'll be a there'll be a question mark down here. It's going to say measure pinch J to G, J to H. You don't know what all those are, so there will be a question mark on that. It will come up and it will bring up, if you touch that question mark, it will bring up a diagram of the bucket okay. and tell you exactly oh, where to measure. measure. Okay. There's eight measurements on it, so okay. it's real easy. Once you're done there, uh -huh. then you're good. Okay. I'm going to take this, see we started with that one, but we can, I'm going to go back up to this other bucket. There's your 36 incher. We're on right there. Okay. Okay. So, with that in mind, that's how you, that's how you uh, measure up a bucket. Okay? You can also look on YouTube okay. and, and get it there. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to go back out of that one. That was clear to bottom bucket work tool settings. Okay. I'm going to go back uh, home here. Okay. If I come over to this side, that's where your automatic engine accelerator is right there, and that's on. Uh, we can go down through this stuff, fine swing, uh, grading. If, so if you want, if you want, want to get real technical with it, you got to be right on the money. I just leave it there on that one. So we'll go home again. Now these are the. This is the fun ones here. This okay. is great control. There's your scales. That's auto dig, and that's e fence. Okay. E what? E fence. E -fence. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start off with grade right here. We're going to dig, a, let's, I'm going to just use this as an example. I'm going to dig a basement. Okay. Okay, see how close I can get this today. I don't want to scratch that. That's a little over a foot, but that's about perfect. Let's go down just a little bit. Okay, so I'm in, I'm in grade control here. Okay. Okay, I've, I've hit that. So now this is lit up. I'm going to come back into this. We're going to dig a basement right here, and we're going to go one foot. This is a real shallow basement. This is intense. So there's one foot, okay? Now I'm going down, and we're showing up, so I want a negative one foot. I'm going underground. I acknowledge that by saying okay. Now we go back. I can either, I can either uh, set my benchmark here. Or I can use this button right here. This is my bench. Okay, I'll, I'm into that, so I'm going to hit that, apply it. Okay, now I go home, bench success. Now on this screen, see where it's telling me I'm, I need to come down a foot? Yep. That's intense. When I drop that a foot, I start getting close. This pink's going to go away, and when I'm on the green right there, that's right on gray. So let's see how close I was to looking at a foot here. It should be about an inch high. So there's gray. Okay, cool. Okay. 
So that's uh, that's that's your grade. Now I would start opening up that basement. Now the first time I move the machine, I want to come back into this again because now my new benchmark, benchmark is my basement floor. Okay, so we're right there. Hit OK. Okay, now let's go home. Okay, I'm going to re-bench using this bottom button on the right joystick. Now I'm right on grade. So now every time I move that machine around a basement, okay, all I got to do is reach out where I know I'm on grade and then re-bench. You don't have to get back in. So how do you this. turn your bench off? How do you turn that buzzer off? If, if Well, if I come up high, see if I'm high or if I'm low, Oh, okay. It's off. I remember when I yeah, said that. Turned it so off. Now we don't have to listen to it all the time. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's that's basically your grade. Okay. Now I'm going to get back into this, back into grade again. And this is highlighted because we're already in it. I've already zeroed off target depth. Now I'm going to lay some pipe. Okay. I'm going to go down here to target slope. Right below it. Hit on target slope. Okay. So this is if you had just dug and that's on grade, let's say that ground level right now is grade, mm -hmm. they'll say that's the bottom of your trench for your sewer. Yep. Okay, and you want to come up because generally you start at the deepest end yeah. and you want to come up 2%. So yep. if that's your target grade right there, so this is where we're at right now. Yep. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to come into, into this and this will hold four of them. There's zero right now. So see, I'm gonna, let's make that 2%. There's my 2%, but we're starting at the same as plus and minus, so I'm gonna hit that. Now I'm starting oh, okay. at the deepest end, right there. Got it. Okay, I'm gonna acknowledge that by saying okay. Okay, now we go home. See, there's my 2%, I'm pulling uphill towards me. Uh -huh. If I, I usually show this at 10 because you can see that line a lot better. So now you just start pulling that in. I can re-bench right here, start right there. So if you track backward, you can go down to the bottom of your trench where grade was known. Yep. And just hit your button hit here on your button. hand. Yep. And it'll pull a 2%, continue a 2%. Yep. Yep. Okay. Not like a basement because that's my new benchmark there. But if I got a hundred feet of pipe delay yeah. at two percent, I'm not going to clear that off. Right. Okay. Okay. So then I just start pulling that in. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to raise that up. The other thing it will not let me do. See if I reach clear out here, because we're, we're going two percent the other way. That's not well. It's not far enough. It will not let you. Go below grade. Okay. Okay. I'll probably catch it there. We'll see. Now you're too level there. <laughs> That's all right. But you can, you get the point. Yeah. Okay. So, so you going. don't over dig your, so it's in yeah. a 2%, but it continues downhill. So it's yeah. not going to. So if move. I come up, let's come up right here. Now I'm going to re bench again. Okay. Okay. So we're not scratching your ground. Okay, now if I come up, it's not going to let me go below that. Well, I'm not in auto. It's going to let In me. auto, it'll stop. Yeah, it. in okay. auto, it's going to stop. Me. Okay. For position location, yeah. it'll just beep. Yeah, yeah I'm great. So I'm going to go back down here. Okay, I'm going to re bench right here. Okay. Because I want to be fairly close to that ground. Okay. Now, on target slope and target depth, I'm going to go back into this. Let's go back down here to target slope. So it's target depth, that's different than the 2%. Yeah, that's okay. flat that's right That's flat, now. okay. Okay. So you'd only use that to get your benchmark set at the bottom of a pipe. Eight, yeah. So, yeah. okay. Yeah. So, so say, so, so the other question I have too, so a lot of times when you're running sewer, you're doing, you're doing, they, qual they qualify for four inches of pea gravel underneath mm -hmm. sewers. So how would I bench... How would I implement the four inches? So you come through and dig it at a two percent. Then how would I adjust it on, for on, the four inches? On my target, like uh, we're we're in to let's use target depth. You can either one of because it's right there. Okay. But see now maybe I need to come up. Uh, that's 
that's uh well i could have put in four zero zero yeah yeah that, you get the point yeah yeah but uh see now i but instead of that negative okay i'm gonna i'm gonna leave that up and just hit okay on that okay now if i go depth. home that's going to bring me up to grade at, at four inches okay see there's my there's my grade right there okay for four inches yeah. so then is that is that on target depth then so you, you don't mess with the target slope yeah then. if you're laying pipe then you would you just do that in target slope instead of target depth. Oh, okay so target yeah. depth is literally only a flat plane yeah target slope is for for sewer anything on it yeah percentage yeah. okay pipe land target slope you cannot run i'm going to get back in there i'm going to go back into this i'm going to zero that out because I'm, i, I want to show you this this great <laughs> so everything's at zero but you cannot run target depth and target slope at the same time okay you can run one or the other but not at the same time that's why i keep zero and everything out yeah because if you're in target slope and then you get into target depth, it's going to say which one you want. Are we sloping or are we? Yeah, it okay. So, yeah. so you're good there, okay. So I'm going to go home here, okay. We're a little bit below grade, just barely a tenth, okay. But now I'm going to go into auto dig, okay. I'm just going to turn on auto dig. I've got to have boom on. Okay, I've got to have bucket on. That's coming on. And then I've got to have uh, grade on. And grade I'm going to put on normal. See right there? If you go to quick, if you go to quick, <laughs> it's going to be doing this to you a little uh -huh. bit. Yeah. If you go to fine, it's way too slow and it'll drive you crazy. Okay. Now I like I like auto dig. I, I like it a lot, but I, I use it more myself for cleanup. Mm. I don't want it. It slows you down. Does that? So when you're digging and you're running auto dig, it's not going to dig as fast as what you usually do. You do it on your so, last pass. When yeah, you're your close. last couple of passes. Okay. See how this is lit up green now? Uh huh. And then I've got an A up here. Yep. That's telling me auto digs on. Okay. Okay. You can also hit that with your button too, can't you? Yeah. And this button right here, bottom okay. bottom side top button. If I tap that, that turns it off. See, great act. So what I'll do is I'll dig down and open up my trench if I'm laying pipe. Yeah. I'll dig down. I'll get close to where I'm just cleaning up my my getting it right on grade. So I'll reach down there, tap that same button. Just turned it back on, mm. clean it up. Benchmark, I, or yep. track backward and yep. benchmark, and then yep. do it again. Okay. Okay. So now we're up. I'm going to turn that back off for just a second. I'm going to come up so we're not <clears throat> digging up your grass. I'm going to rebench right here. Okay. So there's my rebench. I'm right on there. Okay. Now I'm going to tap this button and turn auto dig back on. Okay. Okay. Now watch that bucket. I'm not going to touch my right joystick at all. That's going to bring that, because we're set at level, yeah. right now zeros. That's going to pull that bucket in. And that bucket, you'll even see it rotate out. See how it's rotating out for me? Yeah, I do. So it's carrying exactly where you're at. Oh, that's cool. So if you're cleaning up with it, you can use this, the bottom of your this, bucket to clean up. Yeah, so if your the bottom of your trench is clean, I'll bring that in, and once that bucket's loaded, see how it's rolling out for me and everything. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then I'll just take over with my right joystick, go dump it, come back in, set it down. I always come in about four inches past it, uh -huh. and a little bit high. For because your autos if, to take if, uh, over. Yeah. So now I can pull that in. See how it, in the first four inches it'll drop it and find it. Yeah. But it makes no difference what position that bucket's in. Are you talking it's using the back of your bucket to clean yeah. it up? Yeah. Well, I just had it in that position. See, I can come out and rake it. Yeah. So I'll come out and do that. I come in now. You're going to see it right there. You're going to see that drop a couple inches. I'm not touching my right joystick. See how that just dropped? Yeah. Now that's going to pull that 
right in on grade for us. See how it's coming in? Yeah. See how that bucket's even curling? Yep. So you can rake it, you can do whatever you want, and once it's there, then, then pick it up. Okay. Okay. It's pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah, that's awesome. It's pretty neat stuff. It's a. Uh, how accurate is it? It's, it's accurate. What will get a guy in trouble with this? I see this with basement diggers all the time. See, if I if I go in, see, it's not going to let me go any deeper right now. Right. So, But if I turn this off, now I can go deeper. Maybe i got to dig a rock out. Yeah. But I'll see Bates basements. That's great. But I'll see them go that much too far, just a little bit like that. Yeah. And then by the time they get to the other end of their basement, they're four or five inches off because oh, wow. they're do that. So I always take the time when I when I'm gonna rebench, I'll come in to where I can see those bucket tips. See right there? Yeah. Now I know I'm exactly on grade. That's what'll get a guy in trouble with it. So you're saying with tooth wear, mm -hmm. now if tooth wear <clears throat> How, how do you distinguish? Do you got to go out there and measure your tooth well? No, no, you'll just, if you start seeing you're off, but see, like right now, I'm going to rebench right there anyway. Uh huh. So with that tooth wear, with that tooth wear, wherever I rebench, it's just going to pick it up. So it'll so, just accommodate the yeah, tooth yeah, wear. Yeah, if, if you got that. that much wore off of your off your bucket teeth. Just when you go down and bench, like I'm wherever doing you're right benching, now, it's just going to stay on. It's going to stay right there. Okay, so you really you don't have to worry about your because mm -hmm. wherever you bench from, and you want to go down, say six feet, yeah. to start a sewer line or even a basement, yeah. it don't care where your tooth's at because it's measuring off of where your arm and stick are. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. It just acts yeah. as if it you're, just, it, you're there. Okay. It, what? But well, like I said earlier, what'll get you in trouble is if you weld a board out there and yeah. it's sticking that far out in front of your teeth. Now you now it can't compensate for it. So, so if you you, you can weld a bar on, but do it at the same elevation as the teeth. Yeah. If yeah. you're gonna do it. Yeah. Okay. Or put spade teeth on it. That's okay. what I do. Because then teeth. if you got hard rock, you can put these back on in ten minutes. Yep. And then use them, and then if you're doing something like pipe with spade teeth yeah you're, you're sure that way okay just utilizing both yeah okay so that's that's auto dig and that's great control okay okay now i'm going to get back into this monitor first thing i'm going to do is turn off auto dig well it was off it was off so now it's deactivated okay but i'm going to go back into grade here okay if i want to get clear out of everything because I've already zeroed out target depth and target slope. All I got to do is hit clear benchmark, apply, go home, zap that across, find right. my screen. Uh -huh. See how I swipe yeah. that? Now it's just a digger. Now it's just a normal excavator. Mm -hmm. cool. Now you're just digging. Cool. Okay, so all that's shut off. Now, let's say, let's say I got a power line right there. Okay. okay. I'm going to come in to e-fence okay. right here. I'm going to turn e-fence on. <clears throat> or maybe there's a or maybe there's a a, a gas line running parallel yeah. with you. Yeah. So I, I'll use ceiling here because it's easy. Okay, it's ceiling. Ceiling's above us, so I'm okay. just going to simply turn it on. It even measures it. So the top of my stick right there is 17 foot 6 tenths. Okay. Almost six and a half tenths. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. Now, see, I'll, I can dig under that, that power line. I'll go down, but if I try to lift up through it, it see how that stopped me? Yeah. It will not let me go any higher. That's awesome. Okay. So you can dig. I won't go through them all, but see how that's lit up? Yeah. That's telling me that... that uh, right now that e-fence ceiling is on. So let's go back into that, go into e-fence. I'm going to clear out ceiling. It's off. I'm going to go back. Floor is below me. Maybe I got a fiber optics at seven feet. So I dig down and I get close and find it and I don't want to go any deeper. It won't let me dig any deeper on the floor. Wall is out ahead of me. Maybe I'm digging up. I was at on, out on a new substation for Rocky Mountain Power, uh -huh. and you got to be exactly two feet away from their fence around their 
Mm. So that guy set that wall because he was digging it out and at, actually adding on to the pirate substation. Yeah. So wall won't let you reach out anymore. Cab avoidance, if I've got some big bucket and, and I'm worried about hitting my cab, I can bring it in, stop it, hit cab avoidance, it won't come in any further. And that's, I turn that on if I'm training somebody new. Yeah. So they can't. They can't get yeah, it. Yeah, I think this bucket right here will smack the cab too. Yeah, because you got sits. a coupler on it, and that yeah. extends at a foot. Right. So, then we bring them all in with heavy duty buckets. We don't even sell standard buckets. Yeah, they're all heavy. They're all heavy duty. So there's cab avoidance. There's left swing, and there's right swing. So maybe I got a set of train tracks mm. over here, yeah. or a real busy highway. I can set that to where. Your, your right swing or your left swing, just get it over there, stop it, and then hit that, and it won't go any further. Cool. Okay. So this is neat. You're not going to use it a whole bunch, but it's uh, sealing all the time. Do you do anything inside buildings? Uh, yeah. Generally, not not anything big enough that this is going to go in. But, yeah. Yeah. But, but we do get, work around power lines. Yeah. Yeah. So you can use that. And again, that was that was E fence. Okay. Okay. So the last one right here, this is your scales. Okay. That's your payload. So I get into that. All I gotta do is turn it on. Okay. Payload active. I go home. There's my scales. Okay. In tons. And that's in tons. So as I go in, as I go in with my bucket, and I load my bucket, okay, when I come up out of that hole, that bucket's going to be in carry position like this. If you're loading trucks, you're already going to be there. Yeah. Okay? So, as I lift and swing, if I, if I'm going to swing to the right just a little bit. So, as I lift and I'm swinging like this, yeah. this bucket's going to turn green and it's going to register, at least by the time it gets that high. Yeah. It, it, usually it's a little lower than that. It knows. But, but let's say, okay, this size bucket, we might get a ton and a half in it. So it's going to say 1.5 tons. Now I swing over to my truck, and I dump that in my truck. That's going to transfer oh, that cool. weight into my truck. Okay, so, so if I've got, got a 22-ton side dump, yeah, uh, we'll put 22 tons on him. He's good to go. These scales are within 2%. They're better than wheel loader scales. Wow. And I've checked them a bunch, and they're they're... They're they're real close. Huh. UDOT will give you five percent. Yeah. So you're that's good. You're good. So now I've locked that. I've got twenty two tons in this. Okay. This top button on this left joystick, if I tap it, uh huh, that will store it and clear it, and this will go back to zero. So I'm ready for my next truck. For one truck. Mm -hmm. So every truck that comes in. Does it have a memory out. of how many trucks you loaded that day? It, it, you can. It, this will start right oh, here. Okay, yeah. Because it's brand new. Uh huh. That'll go to 99 and then it'll clear. <clears throat> okay. okay. So you can work off that. But maybe I've got 15, 20 minutes in between trucks. So when you turn this machine off, will it clear itself? It'll clear it. Yeah. So when you turn your tr your machine off, it'll clear it every time. Yeah. yeah. So you'd have to keep track of that. Yeah. If, like if, you if you're to going lunch to lunch, or something. something like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But to, to, to store, it's the top button here. Okay. But maybe I got 15, 20 minutes in between trucks, and I want to just go back to digging. Yeah. The the top button on the bottom side right here, uh -huh. if I hit that, I just turned it off. Oh, okay, cool. So it's the same as the auto dig on this, uh -huh. same as this. Just now I can just side. scroll <laughs> now I'm back into my monitor. Perfect. Okay truck pulls in, turn it back on, way load active, so you don't have to get into this all the time to do it. Scroll over, find your scales, then we can start over again. Cool. Okay, so I'll go ahead and turn that off. So it keeps you from having to get into this monitor all day long. Same thing as what that does. Just the simplified version yeah. of the buttons. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we've got all that, we'll just scroll back over, yeah. now we're home, everything's off, okay. So you can turn it off just by swiping, yep. it turns it off. Yeah, well you'd want to get in like auto dig, Yeah. 
but then if I want that clear gone, then I would get back into auto dig and then go turn back in and turn off. Yeah. That's probably still yeah, still got yeah. boom on. But yeah, I mean you can so I could hit that, turn it off. Okay. Now when I go home, everything's gone. Okay. That A up there's gone, everything. Got it. So it's pretty user friendly. Yeah, you no, know. it seems really good. It's pretty pretty user friendly. This stuff over here. Oh, here's something else on those scales because you brought up that question. So if I turn that back on, but see, I can scroll down. I don't like this, uh -huh. personally. You don't like it, the material? Uh, the, it's got target payload uh, for each truck. It'll yeah. hold 50 trucks. It'll hold 20 different materials. And you gotta go but every time a it. truck pulls in, you got to get in and find the truck. Find oh, it. yeah. And if you're in the heat of battle working hard, that, that's why I don't like it. It turns yeah. into a pain in the butt. Yeah, you just, you just, yeah. it's easier to do it from your knobs. Yeah. Okay. So it's there, and you can use it. But one thing you can do with this, I'm going to go back up here to, to where Waymold is. That's where I leave it. Now we'll go home. But one thing you can do with this is just not clear it if you're looking for total tons, because I've done that. And so just don't clear it, just keep adding, 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 adding. Right over here there's a USB port, see that right there? Yeah. You can put a thumb drive in when you're in scale mode, and you can actually download it off the monitor onto that thumb drive, oh, nice. and it'll give you your total tonnage for the day. Well, how much you, you, you dug, for yeah. instance, if you got a massive cut you're doing with yeah. a 349 or yeah. loading all The haul, only haul thing trucks. is with it is you can't clear. You just got to let it keep stacking yeah. up, stacking yeah. up, and then pretty quick you might see 452 tons. Well, I'm just making something up. Yeah, yeah. Just so you'll see your tonnage there, but that's, uh, that's what that does. That's cool. Okay. So, so when you uh, change uh, buckets every time then, do you recommend changing your program on your, your yeah, monitor? Yeah, and this will pick, see those little black deals yeah. on the back of the buckets? Uh -huh. that, that just came out not very long ago. That's That has two functions. One of them, it IDs a bucket, uh -huh. and it's GPS, so maybe you've lost a bucket on a job site. And it's on a different job site, you're not sure where it's at. You can look it up, and, and it'll tell Find you where, it. where it's at. The other thing it'll do is if we drop buckets uh, and hook up to it, it'll come right up on the monitor, mm. so you don't even have to get in here oh, and nice. acknowledge it. Oh, good. Makes good it easy. They just came out with that not good. very long ago. Have you dropped a bucket yet? I haven't. No. Okay, so this this is going to be a little different with this wedge with this wedge block coupler. It's on here. It takes five full seconds to hook it back up. Okay. It'll unlock a little quicker. But uh, there's your switch. We move that over to the left side okay. instead of having a clear hit over here. Uh -huh. So I push this forward. Okay. Okay. And then I'll pull that switch back. Okay. And then I use my bucket curl. While you're holding it. Yeah. Okay. See now it's open. <coughs> so now I can go down and drop it. bring that back up now you can see that wedge block yeah so I come in I'm gonna grab this safety switch again push that red forward pop it back pull this over 1001 1002 1003 1004 1005 it takes five seconds to lock it. It's two seconds longer than uh, what our older couplers are. Uh -huh. But you've got two different functions because I've got that safety up on top and I've got that wedge block on the bottom. Got it. So if I go to unlock it, now you, they unlock faster. Oh yeah. See, that works pretty good. And if you keep that fitting greased, that I showed you. Yeah. Uh, that's what you can see that wedge block will rot up on. So I'll bring that back down. So even the bigger machines all went to that style too? Every one of them. Why yeah. is that? It's a lot safer. Is Once it? that wedge block's on there, it it's, it, 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 you're not going to drop a bucket on somebody. Oh, good. So it's worth two more seconds. <laughs> Bring, I'll bring that in. Uh, 
bring that in. I always bounce it once like that and then curl it up. Okay, bring it all the way in. You notice the stick hasn't got to be in anymore. Yeah. It makes no difference. Yeah. 1001, 1002. Yeah, and that extra two seconds, I get a lot of phone calls. Guys saying, "Hey, it'll unlock, but it won't lock." Yeah. So that's why it just takes two seconds. Okay. That's all there is to it. And I always do this too, just to yeah, just to to verify. Seen too many companies. If you're lucky, you'll just drop a bucket in the back of a truck. But if you don't crush if you're somebody, not, crush somebody. But it's a really good. You notice we went back to flame cut steel. So for the cup, oh, uh -huh. we're on like your 320C had that. Yeah. It's got that. Uh, yeah. Cut, yeah. not, not casted. Yeah. Cast. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> stronger. It doesn't spread. Yeah. Yep. So it's, it's a little, quite a bit stronger. Oh, good. Good deal. See, so that came up right there, 36 inch bucket. Oh, cool. So when you change it, mm -hmm. the new bucket styles, it'll have that. Yep. Oh, good. Yep. You can get back into that. Get okay. So now I haven't even got to do nothing. I just go home. Cool. Well, thank you. That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> they're, uh, they're, when you get digging with this, it, you're going to say, wow. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not a salesman, so <laughs> <laughs> you know the drill. Yeah, we're excited. And then I'll tell you something else when you turn that phone off. <laughs>